everybody. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, let me check my notes here. What does it say? Okay, introduce yourself. Hi. Uh, I'm the host of this television program. Look at camera, make stupid noise. <laughs> okay, is that is that all right? And that's that's all we got for that. Did we get? Did we get that? Come on, focus. Ooh, okay. Hey, guys. Ooh, today's a very special episode. We're looking at the finest newsmen. We have newsmen, okay? We go to them, we say, what the hell's going on, you know? We look our newsmen in their stupid faces and we say, Huh? I don't have time, so I get my news from one source. What the hell is that goddamn guy's name? What is this guy's name? What is this? What's the wretched guy's name? Oh, oh, I love this guy, Tim Pool. Let's check out what he's up to. He's my favorite. To not attend wait, 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 your wait, family. Wait, what happened? Hold on. That's the very beginning of the video. What happened? Got, got cut off or something? I expect more. I expect way more in terms of editing from America's sweetheart slash newsman than that. Nobody should cut off the beginning of the video like that. To not attend your family holidays because of politics, you're basically treating Trump supporters like Rosa Parks. Okay. Well, uh, there's a big turnaround happening for a wait, lot wait, of these wait, wait, liberal. Wait, wait, Who said that? Bill Maher? Hey, a guy who's kind of losing his mind, uh, who has been losing his mind publicly for the past, what, 10 years? He said something. He said something crazy. Oh, whoa, no way. Whoa. It's weird. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. A guy who's been in Hollywood a little too long said something crazy? Whoa, 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 whoa. no way. Wow. We got one example of that on Bill Maher's show last Calm night down, with Neil man. deGrasse Tyson, who is developmentally disabled. <laughs> okay. I say this in an academic sense. I mean not to disparage of Neil not. deGrasse Tyson. No. I mean quite literally. That's scientific. Yeah, the guy has a developmental disability. You're just stating that's a fact. Neil, De Neil deGrasse Tyson. What the hell is the guy's name? Neil deGrasse, the next generation, has a developmental uh, disability. It's amazing he's gotten this far with those kind of challenges. I'm having a hard time. Okay. The man does not know what he's talking about, nor do I think he has the capabilities to understand basic things. Because now, of his disability. I've had a lot of conversations about science. Right. And, um, and now that it is obvious that it is not right. politically expedient to be woke, okay. he is sounding like a moron. But hey, that guy's so got I a disability, man. Two, uh, I can only discern two things. One of two things. Uh, the first, that he is developmentally disabled. Yeah, his you brain called him a moron. The capability... Oh, whoa, yeah, this guy's coming on his show calling people with a developmental disability morons? What's next? Are you going to kick people out of their wheelchairs? Jesus, man, what is this show? This is sick. Toilet. This show is an absolute toilet. Okay, what do we got next here from my news anchor? Oh, Bill Maher clip. Okay, hopefully he's not drunk around children this time. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Here's the clip from uh, Bill Maher's show last night. Chief God. psychiatric resident at Yale University, Amanda Calhoun, recently Who? told Joy Reid it's okay to cut off family members if they voted for Trump huh? and tell them, I'm not going to be around you this holiday. Oh, how pure. Okay. It's like not letting certain people sit with you on the bus. Oh, wow. <laughs> I nailed it with the audience there. I used to watch Bill Maher when I was a child, and the audience was always like, it was like, who are these people? The audience is always like, yeah, yeah, or what, you know. I would like to see the like warm up for the audience. They're like, hey, you know, Bill's gonna say some stuff. You gotta be like, either like, oh my God, yeah. Or you gotta be like, oh, yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on with the Bill Maher audience. But the audience reaction should, should have been like, what? What the hell? Like a collective, you can hear it. Like everybody says it in unison. Like, what the hell is the guy talking about? Let's leave. Let's leave, we're wasting time. This is a dumb, boring show. You know, like you hear them all say that in unison and then they file out. You know, Bill Maher still gets a lot of views. I think he still gets in the millions of views. Yeah, this does feel a little stupid. This does feel a little stupid to comment on. <laughs> to do a reaction, ooh, a reaction video. Yeah. This does seem kind of stupid even to do a reaction video, you know? Cause I watched that segment that <laughs> Bill Maher is commenting on. I watched the full segment just because God or God help me because I love wasting my time. But it's basically some lady on, I don't know, MSNBC or some crap. She's like, hey, if you, this is what she's saying. If you don't get along with your family for like political crap or whatever, you don't have to go. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's different than Jim Crow. That's different than Jim Crow racism in Montgomery, Alabama in the 1950s. Bill Maher. 
guy who gets a million views on YouTube and has been on HBO since I was a child. Oh my god, stunning commentary here. Stunning commentary here, and... It's demented? I like this, though. The Bill Maher audience is all over the place. They're like, whoa, what the hell? Ro why are you bringing Rosa... Why are you dragging Rosa into this, Bill? Oh, but then check this out. Think about that. A mental health professional advising people to isolate during the holidays. Okay. Don't forget to drink too much and put on weight. <laughs> Classic, man. They're right back on board. They're right back on board. Who, who is this audience? Whoa, Bill. That doesn't seem like a good comparison. Rosa Parks. Then he does like a joke that you would read in a guide to late night comedy book. And they're like, oh, yeah, Bill. That's my boy, Bill, right there. Boom, 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 boom. I'm having a hard time. That's what Bill Maher's HBO show is called, right? I'm having a hard time. With Bill Maher? Okay, but anyway, my goddamn to hell wretched newsman better uh, jump in here. Here we go. He's going to correct the record here. Here we go. Uh, well, to be fair, I'll give Bill this. He uh, has okay. called out woke absurdities for a long time. Huh? Though he doesn't do enough research. And so I got to dig at him when he had Dennis Prager on, and Prager said they're putting tampons in the men's room <laughs> for trans people. And Bill Maher laughed and said, you're wrong. That's not happening. Okay. Despite the fact that it had been happening for three years. Okay, thank you. Thank you for correcting the insane thing that Bill Maher said. How about we entertain some science? Calm your ass down. This, uh, uh, actually, should I play the clip from the show first? Do I have, uh, I have this right here? That's the kind of thing you should prepare before you start recording, goddamn you to hell, again. This is, uh, I think I have two clips, actually. Do we have two? Yeah, just play here we one. Go. Let me play this clip with just pick uh, one. Oh, this magazine. Yeah. I remember when it was around when I, I was. Grew up with here it. we go. S Scientific in America. Scientific America. Uh -huh. Never heard of it. I remember yeah. when it was around when I, I was. Grew up with it. Yeah. Grew up with it. Yeah. Nerd. Okay. Well, their editor had to quit. Oh. You saw this. Yeah, I I, I heard about it because she okay. expressed some opinions. Right. I think about it every yeah. day. Okay, right, sure, but it sure didn't sound scientific. It didn't sound like the person I would want to be running Scientific American. Okay. It was a rant on Twitter. Are you subscribed? Okay, I can read it to you. It's, it's really ugly. You know, uh, I apologize to younger voters that my Gen X is so full of fucking fascists. Okay, Whoa. I would, I, I'm not. Okay. I'm not a gasket right there. I'm not for, All right. yeah. I'm not for canceling anybody on either side. You okay, know? blah, blah. I, get to it, here's, the, here's what I think is the scandal. What? This is in Scientific American. Yeah. Oh, Less than a year ago. Uh -huh. Hit it. Inequity between male and female athletes is a result not of inherent biological differences between the sexes, but of biases in how they are treated in sports. Oh, my God. That's nuts. Whoa. <laughs> and it sure ain't scientific, and it's in Scientific American. Yep. That's and sick. that's why the Democrats lost the election. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is. Whoa. It's not the only reason. Okay. Um, and so Bill's being a bit hyperbolic, but uh, let's see if I can pull this, pull this up from the Wall Street Journal. Okay. Transgender sports and... Again, Bill, you know, why not take a couple minutes, pull this up before you start recording again. Okay, this is kind of just a fun... Ooh, this is kind of a, just a fun little fact check that we'll do here, you know what I mean? Because the thing about, like, Scientific American, no one's reading that crap. That's kind of how I see things. It's like, okay, there's two options I have. I could order from Wingstop or I could read an article. I'm going Wingstop every time. But uh, what I'm about to say should end Bill Maher's career. <laughs> Bill Maher should retreat from public life after what I'm about to show you here. Uh, this is from an actually very interesting article in Scientific American because Bill Maher's whole thing is like, Scientific American isn't scientific anymore. It's woke. It's woke. <laughs> uh, read this article. It's actually pretty interesting. It's called The Theory That Men... Well, what the hell is the goddamn thing called? The Theory That Men Evolved to Hunt and Women Evolved to Gather is wrong. Hey, shut the hell up, man. Huh? The influential idea that in the past men were hunters and women were not is... Is not, sorry, isn't supported by of the available evidence. Now, this goofball Bill Maher... This is more of an example of, like, how our brains are using the internet, like... The shallow stupidity we do on the... Oh, this, I saw something. I saw something in a tweet. I'm going to make a lot of conclusions now. This article is actually very interesting because what it says is that the available evidence kind of suggests that women were really good hunters because the because of the kind of hunting that we did in, a, in our olden times days, I call them, was like, uh, I think it's called persistence hunting where you just wander around. You wander around like a moron. Ancient humans, I think of them as morons. Uh, you just kind of wander around, you follow around, I don't know, a boar? 
A deer? Who who cares? You kind of follow them around until they get tired and then you like throw a spear at them or something. And what this uh, Scientific American article is saying is women did that and they were good at it. You know, know, it's kind of interesting. Who cares? Wingstop? I prefer Wingstop. You know what? What the hell? I'm going to end another guy's career too. Elon Musk. So somebody on Twitter X tweeted this. From Scientific American, inequity between male and female athletes is a result not of inherent biological differences between the sexes, but of biases in how they are treated in sports. This level of biological illiteracy from a magazine purporting itself to be scientific is inexcusable. Oh, that they put the article. Elon Musk says, unscientific American. Whoa, go easy on him, man. Stop hitting him. They're already dead. From the exact same article that I've given you the headline of, that you can go read the whole article yourself right now. It's free, not even paywalled. You don't even have to go into Google. Let me type this into some weird website to unpaywall it. No, totally available to read free, free and easy. Same article. From a biological standpoint, there are undeniable differences between females and males. When we discuss these differences, we are typically referring to means, averages of one group compared to another. Means obscure the vast range of variations in humans. For instance, although males tend to be larger and have bigger hearts and lungs and more muscle mass, there are plenty of females who fall within the typical male range. The inverse is also true. Oh, God. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, here, there's even more in this article if you actually read it instead of just, oh, the New York Post and Elon Musk, blah, blah, blah. Overall, females are metabolically better suited for endurance activities, whereas males excel at short, powerful burst-type activities. You can think of it as a marathoners in brackets, females, versus power lifters, in brackets, males. Much of this difference seems to be driven by the powers of the hormone estrogen, and then they go into a long thing about estrogen. Yeah, so this goddamn guy goes in front of I don't know how many millions of people, and he's like, this article is a scandal. This article that nobody read. Some people retweeted the headline. This thing that nobody read, this is a scandal. This is, (laughs) this Scientific American article is why an election went a certain way. (laughs) And the goddamn article that this guy is referencing says, like, the exact opposite thing that he's saying it says. What the hell is wrong with these? What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, so blah, 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 everything that I just read obviously conflicts with what these media perverts are saying about this (laughs) article that they're all sharing. Let's get to the quote that Bill Maher is absolutely infuriated by, and Elon Musk, who's now, uh, what, in charge of uh, the government or something? Elon Musk! Hi! Let's get to the quote that they're all pissed off about. Here we go. Inequity, which is different than inequality. Inequity means lack of fairness or justice. Between male and female athletes is a result not of inherent biological differences between the sexes, but of biases in how they are treated in sports. As an example, some endurance running events allow the use of professional runners called pace setters to help competitors perform their best. Okay, though we're getting kind of like into the details here. But what I just read you comes after a long, long bunch of writing about how the study and training and supplementation of women is like basically not as good, not as high quality as uh, for male athletes. So what this article is actually saying that these idiots are running with is people with certain types of bodies are better suited to certain types of sports, but they're not reaching their peak because of inequity in the training, study, and supplementation. That's it. You might actually learn something if you do what nobody does and read the article. It takes like 13 minutes. You know how I know that? Because it says on the top, 13 minute read. You know what's also like so stupid about this is that this actually is kind of interesting, this article. It's basically saying like, yeah, based on like, you know, based on these fossil records or whatever the hell they use, who knows, who cares? You know, a certain body type and estrogen and all this stuff, it kind of evolved for this kind of long distance hunting that they used to do. And this is the evidence we have that a lot of, you know, a lot of these ancient people were doing this kind of hunting and it, uh, this kind of biology helped. That's kind of interesting. I'm more interested in Wingstop than this, but still kind of interesting. But that really is a great example of like the shallow, the shallows of the internet. Oh, this kind of supports some stupid thing I want to say. Context is always important, right? Understanding the facts yeah, and the details. Yeah, read the article. Hey, hey, there whoa, you whoa, go. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, read the article you're talking about. You know, every 20 minutes on your platform, you come up with another reason why the Democrats lost. Hey, shut you already, up, you already have the answer. They lost the election. So anything hey, you say that's is why true. they did it. First hey, of all, hey, hey, shut up. You focus on space, man. 
Neil deGrasse Tyson, he looks up at space. He looks at all that crap up there and he goes, It's demented? <laughs> That's what he thinks about it. It's sick. And why the Democrats lost. Yeah. You, already, you already have the answer. Stop they lost deal. the election. So anything you say That's is why true. they did it. First of all, you don't watch this show, so you don't know. <laughs> No, you don't, and it's okay. But you talk as if you do, and you f***ing don't. Oh, give okay. him a break. Just don't bullshit me. That's the one thing people can't ever do no. on the show is... You're kind of bullshitting because you never read that article, right? Yeah, whatever. Address, engage with the idea here. What I'm asking okay. is, Scientific American is saying, basically, that the reason why an NBA... WNBTA team can't beat well, the well, Lakers. Hey, Bill, what the hell did you just say? WNBTA? What the hell? Uh, Bill Maher's drinking again on set and there's no children around. Bill Maher's drinking again on set and there's not even any children around. What the hell? Come on, man. Scientific American is saying, basically, that the reason why an NBA WNBTA team can't right. beat the Lakers is because of societal bias. What you're saying not is even not Scientific close. American says that. An editor for Scientific American says that who no longer has the job. And Neil not deGrasse Tyson is wrong, too. He didn't read the article either. God damn it. We're just in a hall of mirrors of nobody's willing to read a 13-minute article. Unbelievable. God damn them to hell. Oh, no, no, no. First of all, Bill Maher never said this was the same person. Maybe it right. was. Secondly, you do not get to have an editor at Scientific American approve these things without people at the magazine knowing and publishing it. Exactly. So don't indict exactly. a 170-year-old magazine because somebody... Okay, this is Scientific somebody, American, because, and they're printing something Because someone enters the... <laughs> I'm so pissed off about what they're... Now, I'm not going to read the crap, but I'm pissed off at, about it. That's for sure. Anyway... I gotta get the hell out of here. I, so, so why can't you let's just talk about science? Why can't you just say this is not scientific and scientific Americans should do say better? Say it, Neil. Uh, well, because he is a grifting scumbag. Whoa! He has whoa, been whoa! Whoa! That's Neil. Hey, that's Neil, man. Hey, that's Neil. He, all he wants to do is look up at the stars and go like this. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson looks up at the night sky and he says, "That's creepy." <laughs> He's just grossed out by it. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, this is a thing people talk a lot about. Healthcare. Don't worry about it anymore because uh, my newsman, my news... Pendejo. He figured it out. It's done. He figured it out. Check it out. What are my opinions? Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I think we should have universal basic healthcare. Thank what God. does that mean? Yeah, look. Someone breaks a bone or gets the flu. We'll give you Tamiflu. We'll set the bone. That's easy stuff. But if you got a deep cancer, like some serious stuff that medical technology can't deal with nah sorry so i think there's gotta be a <laughs> that's it okay that's a pretty good plan that's a that is a, that is a good plan health care for all except those who need it the most i guess that's a pretty good that's pretty good i'd like to see a policy paper on that you know here's my health care plan you know we got research from all around the world countries who have kind of figured out health care but i got a better idea you break a bone you get a flu we'll cover that anything else yeah no I'm calling it Medicare for... Huh? My plan is called Medicare for... Nobody. <laughs> From Fox Business, huh? lifelong Jaguar customer troubled by baffling woke rebrand going in a very sad direction. Oh my... Oh my God. A lifelong Jaguar owner is pissed off? Oh, that's the guy that I'm most worried about in the world. That's the... Pendejo. That I'm most worried about. I've owned Jaguars my whole life. Wait, where are you going? What I really love about this commercial, if you guys haven't seen it, uh -huh. is that it's, I don't know if it's so much as woke as it tries to be like futurist, postmodernist art style and uh -huh. just not Jaguar. So they've got okay. a bunch of different people wearing weird clothes with weird makeup and I guess no eyebrows. Some have eyebrows. <laughs> and uh, this, and this, this is this image Fox, this is on, this is Fox Business. Okay, this is just a fun kind of goofy one here, but I saw like a couple videos about this came up on the feed or whatever. It's a it's a dumb Jaguar commercial. I'm not buying one of those pieces of crap. I don't have time to take that stupid thing in to get fixed all the time. But this really is, it does seem like somebody dropped a pellet into a tank and then all these content creators, all these content creators, I could make a video about that and pretend to be pissed off because it's, like it's like a fashion thing for a Jaguar commercial. But I love this little Tim Pool video about it because I love watching a guy who's an audience captured you know, just trying to figure out what he's got to say to these people. What do I have to say to you guys? Just trying to tap dance around. Ooh, I'm pissed off at the Jaguar commercial. I'm pissed off about the Jaguar commercial, maybe? I don't know.
Is that good? It, okay, so, so let me break it down. Go ahead. The Jaguar commercial was weird, cringe, and probably produced before the election. Praise God. Now they probably regret it, but they launched it anyway. Okay. Everyone is singing the praises of this Volvo video. Praise God. This guy, Julian Huynh, says Volvo posted a three minute, 46 second long ad on Instagram uh -huh. shot by Hoyt Van Hoytema. The cinematographer Ooh. of Interstellar and Oppenheimer. Oh, it goes yeah. against every Pretty single good. rule you can think of about uh, uh, think about as a social lead length format overproduced. All right. Every I comment. Don't know what, you don't even know what the hell you're reading. Okay, yeah, I would urge everybody please go watch this video because it is very funny. Jaguar gets roasted for weird, creepy ad, while Volvo praised for for pro family commercial. And the reason why I think it's so powerful is you like you take Absolutely. a look at what Jaguar is doing with this weird, creepy, futuristic art garbage. It's sick. You look at these companies that are telling people that families are bad or okay. that you should be guilty for having kids. And Volvo's <laughs> like, let's do a commercial that's a short film celebrating having a family and showing you that our vehicles are safe as the twist. Absolutely. And it's like, right. that's what commercials should be. Yeah, this video right here is like a, a piece of postmodern art or something. Because he's looking at two ads, two advertisements, and he's like, that one's pro-family. The other one's anti <laughs> The Jaguar ad is, is stupid. It, all ads are stupid. What am I talking about? They're all stupid. The best ads are ones that just lean into their stupidity. Like the moon face from uh, McDonald's. It is stupid. Our food's stupid, and this is stupid. Okay. Yeah, and all the lines. I'll go eat that garbage. That's a great ad. BMW did an ad campaign in the early 2000s where they hired Clive Owen to be like a getaway driver in BMW. And they made these little short action films where they're smashing up BMWs. Stupid. That, that, that's what it is. Hey, you want to get a BMW because you think you're going to do like a getaway driver thing, you moron. Here you go. Great. That's what ads are supposed to be. Just lean into the stupidity of what you're doing. You know, whatever. This is totally unrelated. It's a total diversion. But there is one ad in my lifetime of watching ads, which are all stupid. There is one ad that that gets me. There is one ad that I can't even think about. I can't even think about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Because I turn into a little whiny baby. Turn into a little cry baby when I think about it. The Derek Coleman Duracell ad. And I'm not even going to talk about it. Go watch it. That's the one. But ads are stupid. They're moronic. They're trying to get you to buy. They're trying to trick you into buying crap. And the ad, Tim Pool plays this ad in its entirety. It's a Volvo ad, you know, and Volvo has branded themselves as being, well, they're very safe. It's a very safe car. You, If you go like this, <laughs> if you find yourself saying, I'm having a hard time in a Volvo, you'll be fine. I don't know. So they made this dumb ad where it's like, it's super dramatic. It's a guy, oh, I had a baby. Oh, I have a family. And it cuts to his wife almost getting in some kind of accident, and then they don't. Oh, wow. No way. And he's like, this is a very pro-family. That other one's not pro-family. I'm just totally operating within the framework of these advertisements. You know, it's just absolutely moronic. But uh, what I love about it is he's like, okay, I got to say something about this stupid ad that nobody cares about, this Jaguar thing. What does my audience want to hear? Oh, some things are pro-family and some things are not. Volvo's being very pro-family. It is like if any normal person watched that Volvo ad, this is what a normal person should think when you see a dramatic Volvo ad where they're like, this is going to save your family. You have to buy this overpriced piece of crap because it'll save your family. <laughs> oh, oh, I apologize, Volvo, right away, sir. A normal person watches that and says, oh, they're doing some kind of vaguely manipulative thing where uh, we're gonna save your family with the overpriced volvo that's what a normal person thinks i like that he's like okay how can i how can i squeeze 20 minutes out of this pro family i'll roll this thing with my mouth hanging open in its entirety and it's pro family <sighs> content done for the day thanks for checking out this clip from no Tim problem, Cast irl yeah make sure to watch the show live monday through I don't friday have time. at 8 p.m I'm busy subscribe to this channel yeah, i can't make it see you all there. hey whoa shut up man i can't make it oh the end oh this is the end okay oh this was a short film well guys speaking of the end this is the end this is the end my only pendejo the end it's it's a day we don't talk about we don't mention we don't talk about that. We avoid it. When it comes to Monday, we are anxious avoidant.
Okay, I know about that. I know about that because I heard somebody say it. Heard somebody say it at a bar. We're anxious about Monday, so we avoid it. I think that's what that means. It's psychological stuff. But hope you guys are doing great. If you want to tear up, go watch that Derek Coleman Duracell ad. God damn you, Duracell, you got me, you creeps. I'm not buying your batteries either way. But hope you guys have a good week. We're still, despite the problematic <laughs> weekday, we're still out here doing it. Love you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, my name's Ladron James. I do the outros around here. Okay, got a problem with that? If you got a problem with that, take it up with somebody else or whatever. I don't know. There's probably a joke there, but I missed it. Anyway, guys, I got a truly big problem here, which is of that you're missing a lot of the episodes of this program every single week. How do you get them? Oh, good question. Great question. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as $2. $2 is a meaningless amount of money. Let's face it. Okay, it's useless. But for that just nothing amount of money, you can become a subscriber on Patreon and get every episode. Get the link is in the description. All you gotta do is click in there, and that's it. There's, oh my God. All, you get all the videos, Patreon-only live streams, all this assorted crap. That's me, Ladron James, signing out. Bye-bye. <laughs>